Nom 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 nom. Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Season 4 server. Thank you so much for joining me and indeed for the amount of support you showed in the last episode. Now, today is going to be the day we do battle against the Wither. Now I know in my Python Plays Minecraft episode very recently we also took down the Wither. And yeah, I kind of feel bad for sort of repeating the same procedure. But anyways, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff before then. First of all, we're going to be going ahead and checking this out. We have ourselves the, uh, the Pythonator, a blingy present for you from Sweden, from Rendog, Python's DreamHack 2016 bling. Hey, man. So, yeah, they've obviously been to uh, the to DreamHack recently, and he decided as a bit of a present, a little bit of a gimmicky type thing, he decided to give us each a diamond. So, that's kind of cool. I am definitely not going to complain about that. That's pretty awesome. And I've actually brought myself over a bunch of building materials from my treehouse base. Because we will be doing some building in this episode, my friends. Don't worry about it. So, yeah. We need to go ahead and, and start putting some stuffs away. And, uh, well, just generally getting ready, you know, to, to, to get some building done. Because, yeah. I feel like it's been a while since we've built on this series, and I kind of feel bad for it because, you know, it is something I like to do, and we have been doing a lot of sort of non-building stuff recently, so, yeah. Okay, so, we have ourselves three diamond blocks, and the reason why I have three diamond blocks is because Izuma Void has very recently opened up a brand new gold shop, because, of course, he's got himself a massive donut zombie pigment farm up in the nether, and as a result, he's managed to get himself a whole stockpile of gold, and as a result of all of that, he set up a shop, and I want to buy a heck ton of gold, because I want to be using that gold for an eventual speed 2 beacon, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be one of the plans for this episode. We're going to have ourselves a speed 2 beacon which will hopefully stretch across this entire sea town so people could get around just that little bit quicker because you know mobility is everything and, and stuff yeah that okay so we are heading up here into the brown commercial district we're going to be going ahead buying a bunch of gold i do believe it's one stack of ingots for 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 one diamond so let's go ahead and head down there just confirm that that is the case so here we go rolling down into azuma's gold shop uh, here we go. Uh, one diamond per 64 s stack of ingots. Okay, cool. Need a restock? Want a bulk buy discount? Drop me a PM. Uh, I mean, I guess this is kind of a bulk buy? I don't know. But here we go. We're going to be buying ourselves a, a lot of gold, basically. We're going to be buying ourselves the equivalent of three stacks of gold blocks. Uh, he doesn't have a crafting table down here. Does, does he not have a crafting table down here? Well, apparently not. And yeah, we're going to be making these all into blocks. So... Yes, uh, uh, crafting table, where you at, buddy? Seriously? Where's the crafting table at, dude? <laughs> There's none around here, dude. What the heck? Wow, of all the things to not have around the place, it's crafting tables. I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like the opposite of what happened in the Minecraft server with regards to the crafting tables being stolen. I think the opposite needs to happen, like, just crafting tables being spewed everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but yeah, let's go ahead and buy some more gold, shall we? Oh, right. Python is a complete and utter dingleberry. He had a bunch of wood in his inventory and he decided not to use it because, it, yeah, 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 dingleberry comes to mind. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and buy some more blooming gold, shall we? Oh my lord, that's just embarrassing, man. How did I not notice that there was wood in my blooming hotbar and the first slot of all places? What the heck is wrong with me, man? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I just don't even know. There you go. You got three diamond blocks worth of sales, Azuma. So, enjoy. Enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. This is hopefully going to be more than enough to, to allow us to have a full, you know, tier four, you know, maximum tier beacon. So, yeah. Awesome stuff. Okay. So, as you guys know, I've already got three Wither Schools in my Ender Chest. So all we have to do is find an ender chest, grab out those skulls, and we need to find ourselves a place to take down the wither. But also, obviously, in the meantime, we need to go ahead and, uh, yeah, we're going to grab this golden apple out because I feel like now will be the time to do so. And, yeah, we're going to start prepping. But before prepping, let's just have a quick look see to see if there's been any sales. Yes, there has. Hey, man, I'll take that. Uh, got ourselves a diamond on the daylight sensors. Awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, so all of the torches have been sold. Uh, got an iron ingot and for some reason a stack of 63 redstone. Interesting. Okay, uh, no sales there. No sales there. Uh, oh, well, okay. Those have all been wiped out. And so have these. So actually, we've just made back 
two diamond blocks worth. So we've actually only lost a diamond blocks worth of diamonds today. Huh. Awesome. Alrighty, and that's the strength potions done. Oh, well, apparently we're getting achievements. Ha! Huh. Cool. And that's the regen potions done. Awesome stuff, man. Alright, so all we need to do now is get our inventory organized. So it's how we normally have it. So strength and the regen. And then should we need it, of course, a golden apple. So, yeah, I think we are just about ready to, to head down, find a place, and kill this poor sucker. So, yeah, let's go underground, shall we? Alrighty, guys, the time hath come. We need to find a place to call a good with a slaying area. Uh, right, what's this over here? Now, this seems like a pretty reasonable area to do it in. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, put down the old soul sand. And boom. That's not on the right place, apparently. <laughs> okay. Interesting. All right. Can I, like, have that back and put it on top so I can actually do this thing? Ha boom All right. Let's have a little screeny. Let's have a little bit of strength. A little bit of regen. And, yeah, we're going to blast the hell out of him, basically. And boom. All right. Here we go. Here we go. The time is now. Ha boom Get wrecked, son! You will get destroyed! Whether you like it or not, sonny Jimbo. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh, is this guy even trying? Can you, like, come over here so you're away from the lava, please? There we go. Right, now I can get something again. Right, let's have a bit of that. Overpowered. Yeah, buddy! You will get destroyed! I don't care what you say, you are going down! Go on! Go on, get off! Get off me, bro! Get off me! Yeah! <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Gotta freaking love it. Well, apparently all that lava was <laughs> was there. That could have got a lot worse than it did, let's be honest. But uh Yeah, that was that was interesting, to say the very least. Alright, so now that we've done that, we can get the hell out of here and we can head back up top and uh, get ourselves one of them beautiful beacon things going. So uh where's the Oh it's there. Okay, cool. Wait, am I gonna die? Hold on. I will not die. Thank you. Can you, like, not? Can you, like, bugger off with the effect? I am not dying. Good lord, that was actually kind of close. I think I got down to one and a half hearts there. Huh. That was a bit nerve-wracking, actually. <laughs> All right, back up top. Let's get this beacon set up. All righty, guys. Let's get this thing rolling, shall we? We've got ourselves a beacon and, of course, the three stacks of gold blocks that we purchased from Izuma's place. So, yeah, all we need to do now is we need to try and pinpoint where the center of this town is. Might be a bit more difficult considering the strange shape of it, but we are going to really well give it a good shot anyway. So, yeah, I'm thinking what we do is we find the center point of one of these larger inner square areas, okay? So, uh, I don't think this would be the center, to be honest. I'm thinking that this over here would perhaps be the center? Uh, I don't know, ma'am. I don't know. Because it goes quite a long way over there, doesn't it? I don't know, ma'am. Maybe, maybe somewhere here? I don't know, man. This is actually going to be kind of difficult to try and pinpoint where the center is, man. <laughs> okay, uh, right. So maybe I could do it here and hopefully it will stretch way over there. I'll tell you what, uh, it's a radius of 50 blocks. So if we said that this here was the center, okay, we need to go 50 blocks in this direction. So if it goes any lower than negative 1089, then the radius of the beacon will not stretch to over to the end of this here, uh, to the end of this town. So here we go, 60, 70, uh, we're now at 80. Uh, oh, it's only just going to be out of range, this area right here. God damn it, that's actually kind of annoying. Hmm, I don't need to think of a different area to put it in, which case, it's going to have to be in this square here, isn't it? It just simply, it simply has to be, doesn't it? Hmm, I don't know, man. I just don't know. I need to think of a place to put this thing, and I need to think of a place to put it pretty much now. Uh, um, I don't know. Right, let me try and figure out a place for this thing to go, and I'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty guys, so what I've decided here is the fact that the eventual building that's going to go in here can basically have a room which is almost like powered by the beacon. So basically the beacon beam is going to go right here and then obviously we've got the room around it which is going to consist of whatever it may be. And yeah, basically in a nutshell what I'm trying to say is that this is going to be the place where the, the, the beacon beam is going to protrude out of. So I need to go and pick up a piece of glass and then we need to dig down and get this beacon done. And I thought it was a bit 
of a special touch to power it. We're going to use Rendog's DreamHack 2016 Bling. I thought that'd be a pretty cool touch right there. <laughs> Nice little motto for the town. A little sponsored message. Sponsored by DreamHack 2016. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's grab a bit of glass and let's get this thing rolling. Break and roll one in Minecraft because I'm a freaking pro. Alrighty, so I'm down at bedrock level just below the uh, the glass that I placed down. And yeah, we're now going to start constructing this thing. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the first ever time I've constructed a beacon entirely out of gold. So, uh... Yeah, that's that's kind of badass. <laughs> Not quite diamond, but it's definitely a step up from iron, right? So, you know, I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get this thing filled in, shall we? Okay. Do, 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 do. Shouldn't take too long. And there goes the beacon. So, is that going to protrude all the way up? Yes, it is. All right, so here we go. Let's get ourselves speed. Speed 2, and, oh, yeah, okay, Speed 2. Uh, for some reason, I thought you could get both regen and Speed 2, but, uh, it is not the case. But, uh, yeah, here we go, DreamHack 2016. You are the sponsor of this beacon. Boom! And Speed 2 should start pooling out. Yep, there it is. All right, sweet, man. We freaking did it, like true professionals. All right, let's get out of here, shall we? Alrighty guys, so the beacon has been set up and what I'm in the process of doing right now is actually testing just how much range it has. So we're in the main house, well the first house we've ever made here, and the speed effect still, you know, stretches all the way over. So let's go over to here perhaps, into this house, and let's see if the speed effect still goes. Uh, oh, hold on. No, I don't think it is. I think it's actually counted down. Okay, so we're actually outside of the beacon range here, but if we're on the pathway here, is the uh, thing going to stretch still? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So, obviously, you know, the pathways is really where we want the speed effect to be uh, to be most prevalent, so people can get around a lot quicker than just, you know, just regular sprinting. So, uh, let's go over to the, to, to the opposite side over here, and again, let's see if the beacon will stretch all the way over this way. So, the furthest we can get away is pretty much here. Okay, so let's see if this is going to count down again. Uh, it would appear so. Okay, so what if we go one block this way? Uh, oh, okay, so it refreshed. So this particular block here, or this line here, does not have the speed 2 effect, but this one does. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think people could live without speed 2 for one block, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure that'll be okay. So, yeah, pretty much bottom line is we've got speed 2 effect throughout, you know, very almost the entirety of our entire CTAB project. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with where it's, like, with where it's located, sorry. And, yeah, we're going to move on to something else. Alrighty guys, so I'm in the process of buying some blaze rods because we're going to make ourselves a mini brewery house kind of dealio. It really is going to be just a tiny little house consisting of maybe like one or two bits of salt sand with nether wards. We'll have like a cauldron in there and yeah, like a chest of potion supplies. So yeah, it really is going to be like a little potion shack kind of dealio. So yeah, uh, yeah, I did pay him. Okay, cool. Uh, hey, X. Ah, my fellow log fellow Azuma has just allowed us to take half a stack of soul sand from his chest. Awesome stuff. Cheers, X! And yeah, it's going to be used for our little potion shack. Awesome. Let's get on with it. Alright guys, the time to build is now. This is actually going to be an enchant shack, which is coming soon. As you can see, it's pretty much the perfect size. Enchant table will go there, bookshelves around the edge, and we make a building out of it. Pretty awesome. And the mini potion shack is actually going to go right here. I've already got some materials picked out for it. So without further ado, we're actually going to do a little bit of building on the camera. So this is going to be pretty interesting, to say the very least. But we'll see how it goes, my friends. Okay, so let's have ourselves some pillars at the edge to start out with okay and we'll have a little bit of this now the reason why i went for a slightly larger plot is because there's going to be a, a decent amount of stuff inside this place like i said there's going to be like a, a a tiny mini soul sand farm not soul sand farm <laughs> what the heck am i on about not soul sand farm one of those uh, nether wart farms, that's what I'm on about. There we go, because obviously these things are pretty much needed to make any good potion out there. So there we go. And then what we could potentially do, if I grab out a crafting table, I'm going to place the crafting table there. Okay, we're going to make ourselves some uh, some upside down stairs. Okay, so something like that. Uh, let's have ourselves a little bit of that and a little bit of that. And then what we could potentially do is do that in the middle. See, that, that works quite nicely as like a centerpiece. We could have like a water bucket in the center there. And we can have the brewing stands there 
and there. And then, of course, uh, all we'd need from there on in is a couple of chests. Maybe one for good stuff, one for bad stuff. Maybe something for, maybe something for, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of how we could work this thing. Maybe we could have, like, a line of bottles, a line of water bottles, and then pretty much the rest of it is potion ingredients, like gas tears and spider eyes and, and blaze powder. Blaze rods, obviously, they're going to go in there as well. You know, there's loads of stuff we can go ahead and put inside this place. And, yeah, it's going to be, like, a fully functional mini potion shack. And I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how it looks when it's done. So, talking of seeing how it looks when it's done, let's continue going ahead and working on this little uh, poor sucker. So, here we go. A little bit of that. Let's get rid of these blocks right here. I feel like I'm just uh, dismantling all of the fences I've put inside of this entire thing so far. You know, it's 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 just the thing. Right, okay. Uh, so we're going to have a window there, window there. We're going to have ourselves uh, dark wood like that. Uh, dark wood over here like so. And then in terms of a roof, we're going to go with stone bricks as the accent. And then we're going to have the dark wood slabs as the regular part. Okay, so that's sad pretty cool let's have ourselves some of these little babies okay and let's go ahead and convert some of these also into stairs there we go 20 i don't even think that's going to be enough i'm just going to make the whole lot into that and same here so there we go all of that's going to be in there like so and what we're going to do is continue on with the dark wood going around so this is going to be like the frame uh, Okay, and then what we're going to start doing is we're going to start going ahead and placing in the accent for the roof. So, like so. Uh, let's have ourselves out something that is easy to break. So, I don't know, maybe just something like this will do the job. And let's start placing in the roof, going back and forth, like so. Okay, this is looking pretty decent, i got to say. Okay, boom, boom, uh, boom, boom. And then we can have ourselves something like this. Okay, and then we'll have a slab on top of that just to ensure that no mobs spawn there. Okay, so let's continue on making the accents around this place. Okay, going around the place. I've got to say, the Speed 2 is really coming through for us right now. It's making us be able to move a lot faster while crouching, which I can really appreciate. So, something like that. Okay, and again, let's continue on with this thing. It's like speed building, isn't it? Speed building in survival. It's something that I don't really do, let's be honest. Okay, and let's move on to the wooden part of this. So, here we go. Again, should be pretty simple, pretty easy to do. So, let's move around here, do the same. Okay, and then after we've got this building done, we're probably going to end the episode. So, here we go, and then we can just have regular blocks going around this place. In fact, look at this, we've already got some slabs put down, so that's kind of awesome. Okay, but we still need some blocks, so let's go and put these in here like so. Okay, looking good. We do need ourselves another crafting table, unless we have one in our inventory, which we don't. <laughs> Yay, I'm so organized. All right, boom. And that will do the job there. Boom, 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 boom. And then all we need is some stone brick slabs as well. Alright, and that should just about do the job in terms of the roof. So let's have a quick look at it from the bottom. Uh, yeah, that's looking pretty decent, isn't it? Huh. Okay, maybe what we can do here is have this go along the top instead. Yeah, okay, man, I'm coming up with cool ideas all over the place. <laughs> Kind of awesome. Okay, and in terms of the ceiling on the inside, let's have ourselves some slabs once again. And let's just go ahead and place them in. Uh, we could potentially put down a bit of glowstone maybe here. Yeah, that's pretty much bang in the center and we can get some light in here. Okay, awesome. And finally, let's have ourselves a door and some windows. In terms of the windows, what I'm going to do is... Can we make this work? Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if that really works. Hmm. Not sure about it. What if I go ahead and get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, and then place down some planks in its place? Ah! Uh, looks pretty okay. What if we... No, we can't do it there, because they won't connect to the door, will they? Okay, right. Let's continue on with putting down some iron bars right here, and in here, and over here. Okay. And that should just about do it for this mini build right here. Yeah, man, that's looking pretty awesome. And then all we need to do is grab out a piece of glowstone, which is up here, all right? And then that'll do nicely in terms of the lighting. So, yeah, pretty cool.
cool, man. We've actually managed to build an entire thing on camera, which is something I don't do very often, it has to be said. But it's something, you know, I want to try and do a bit more of. You know, if I know exactly what I want to build in my head, then I'm going to go ahead and build it. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, I think on that note, it is time to end off this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But thanks so much for watching, guys. My name is Python, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.